Hi guys, Mr. Awful Waffles here. Today I'll be giving you a guide to get the upgraded Dragon Strike controller called the Draconite controller. Not the Dragonite, it's not quite a Pokemon. As much as Pokemon Go has been taken over the world, we're not quite doing that in this video. Instead, we'll be upgrading the Dragon Strike controller. To start off with, you need the actual Dragon Strike controller itself in order to start upgrading it. So get that by doing the lockdown challenge in the house which is the pack a punch area of the map and then you'll be good to go to get things started similar to the shield upgrade process the first thing you need to do once you've got the controller is to kill a certain number of zombies with it it's going to be around about 40 to 50 it'll change a little bit depending on your game but kill a couple of fairly large hordes with your dragon strike and once you reach a certain threshold number what's going to happen is you'll hear a very specific dragon roar sound now this first sound that i'm about to play is not the correct sound that you're looking out for this is just a dragon roaring on the map i've seen other youtubers talking about this sound and saying oh yeah that's the notification nope it's not so i'll play that first so that wasn't it. The sound that you're looking out for is this. No! Once you hear that, you know that you're good to go with the next step. So I'm now going to show you four locations where flags spawn at the beginning of every game. There's one here, if you go to the supply depot area, go out onto the walkway and look to the left, you can see it sort of medium distance away from you, so that's the first one. There's another one in the dragon command area, so that's near the power switch. Again, go out onto the little metal balcony and you should be able to see it behind this piece of rubble in the distance. It's the flag that has fallen off the wall as opposed to the other flags that are still on the walls here. Then there is another one in the tank station area and this one is a little difficult to see. It's quite near where the Monty radio is. So look in that general direction and you'll see the flag in the distance. So that is number three. And then finally, flag number four is going to be in the spawn. If you come to the area where Quick Revive is and go into this corner, again, just where the Monty radio is, you'll be able to see a flag kind of faintly. This one's a little pesky to spot on the building in the distance. As I said a moment ago, those flags are all there at the beginning of a game. But now that you've got the dragon notification for killing around 50 zombies with the dragon strike, what's going to happen is some of those flags could disappear. And what happens is you end up with the number of flags remaining equaling the number of players in your game. So if you're in a one player game, then three of those flags are going to disappear and you'll just be left with one flag. If there are two people in your game, there'll just be two flags remaining. If there's four people in your game, then no flags will disappear and they'll all stay there. What you've got to do, what your job is, is to dragon strike the flags themselves. So if you've got a four player team, there are four flags on the map, so everyone can dragon strike their own flag and that way you can get it all done in one round. Similarly, if you're in a solo game, there'll only be one flag on the map for you to hit with your dragon strike, so go to all four locations, find which flag is still remaining on the map, there'll only be one there, dragon strike it and you will complete the step if you get all of the flags. So, like I've said, just to reiterate, in solo, there'll only be one flag, in co-op, there'll be as many flags as there are players. Once those have been dragon struck, what's going to happen is you're going to be able to go back to the hatchery. So again, that's the pack a punch area and you'll be able to reinitiate the crystal, which causes the lockdown, which you used to get the dragon strike controller in the first place. So you can go right back up to that machine, hold square and another lockdown will start this time round things are a little different because you can keep going through that lockdown over and over and find yourself not getting anywhere if you don't do the step correctly. The important thing here, and you can do this in one lockdown by the way, you don't have to do three, you don't have to do five, you don't have to do 27, you can just do one lockdown and as long as you are spamming your Dragon Strike controller outside the house while you are doing it, you should be okay and you'll complete it in one lockdown. So it's the same setup as before. One side of the house will open, that'll then shut. Another side will open, that'll then shut. The front will open, that'll then shut. Then you'll get all three at once and then you'll be complete. But the key is to be using your Dragon Strike 
throughout this process and you need to be trying to kill zombies with it. You need to be killing the zombies that then get the green mist on them from the dragon strike. That is the entire point of this step is to do that. And if you do it correctly, what will happen is after the lockdown, you'll be able to go back up to that machine, to that crystal, hold square, and you'll pick up and equip your Draconite controller. Now, every time I post a guide like this, people always say, Milo, I don't just want to see the guide. I want to see some gameplay of the thing that you're building or upgrading or using as well. And so now I'm going to give you a little taster of what the Draconite controller actually does. First things first, probably the coolest effect of this is that it actually gives you an extra charge of Dragon Strikes to use. So instead of capping out at one, we can now call in two, but not at the same time. It has to be at separate times, but still you can hold two at once, which is great because if you're, for example, trying to do the boss fight or something like that, and you want to be hammering down onto the boss with a Dragon Strike, for example, then you can do so much more easily if you've got an extra Dragon Strike to use to your advantage. And it's really useful for getting out of a sticky situation as well, because obviously the zombies run towards wherever you place the strike. So it's pretty damn cool. I like the fact that the fire changed color as well, similar to the shield going from green to red. This also goes from green to red, so I thought that was pretty awesome. And it also makes me think that there are probably some other upgrades on the map as well that we haven't quite found yet. So definitely time to get looking for those. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below as to what we might need to be doing in order to start upgrading the other stuff in the map. Other than that though, if this has been useful, like the video por favor, I've made sure that all my details in this video are correct. I didn't want to rush my guide out and make a load of mistakes, so I waited just a little bit, but thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.